Now the iPad has a lot of general options that you can set and have a look at stuff and this is going to take a little bit of time to go through so I'm going to do the first section um, and this general tab in two parts. So if we have a look on here at, at the about section to start with, so the about section is going to give you all the information relating to your um, iPad and if you have a look it also says that there's a new updates and all those sorts of things when I click into those options. So um, it gives me the name, it gives me the network it's on, it tells me how many songs I've got, videos, photos. Um, so when parents come and ask us as teachers or students actually want to find out where their capacity is gone or what's left or where are they up to, this is the spot to go. So that's general, um, under general options and then about. So as one of the rules we say to our students, you must make sure that there's enough room for all of your um, school related work to be on here. Um, and at no point in time should anything else encroach upon that. So if the students were running out of space, then we would be coming into here to say, well, look, you've got um, 49 videos in there, which is an extremely large amount, which would be taking up a lot of room. Um, I can see the capacity of mine, so I've got a 64 gig iPad, um, and I've used a fairly significant amount of that up um, with apps and that sort of stuff. It would tell me serial numbers and Wi-Fi numbers and all those sorts of things that could actually be used um, to sort of monitor and gauge and all of those sorts of um, devices. And if you have a look, it's got all of those bits and pieces that um, generally would be used for repair as well. If we have a look um, at this next bit, software update, this is where um, traditionally you would have to plug in your iPad to the computer to update it. Um, which is not the case anymore. Software updates are done um, what we call incrementally. So whatever changed between one update to the other update, only that gets downloaded. Um, and that can be done via the iPad. But there's two things with this. First one is that you must have the iPad above 50% before it will allow you to install it. That's just a protection measure, which means that um, if we did it at 1% and it started doing an update and the update was going and you ran out of power, then the iPad would be stuck in limbo. So they've made a protection measure where it must be above 50% before you're allowed to do that. Um, and more importantly is that the update itself will show up with a little one next to it, which will give you a notify marker. A lot of people ask me with updates, I lost apps or something didn't happen or, um, you know, what happens with updates generally from the software point of view, from this environment that you're working within, just the iPad in general, is that there are some apps that will be supported in the new version and some apps won't. It will all depend on the developer of the app. So if you've got an app on um, trigonometry and the person that created it hasn't done the updates that are required themselves as the person owning it, then when you do an update, one of those apps may disappear until the actual until the developer actually updates that app. Um, and that's an important feature that you need to be remembered. It's not about the software doing it. They've all then you have months and months of testing before you usually get an update on one of these. If an app disappears, it's generally because the developer hasn't updated it in time or changed something that they've been asked to change or um, any number of those issues. So um, that's software update. The last one is usage. Um, this gives you an idea of what actually is happening on your iPad in a more detailed um, explanation. So in other words, it'll give you your iCloud storage. So iCloud will talk about when we get to it down further, um, it'll tell me um, how to manage that storage. It'll also tell me my percentages of battery and when it's going to be updated and all those sorts of things. In here, it gives me the specifics of apps. So if I wanted to know where something was actually taking up a lot, so if I look at Monopoly um, as a game, that's a really big game. Um, and this is where I would caution people buying 16 gig um, iPads because if we have a look at this Elements um, app, it's 1.7 gigabytes. It's a great app for periodic table, but it's a large app. Um, and you can see photos and the camera itself take up a lot. And I can go through and sort of manage each individual app in itself. Um, so storage, battery use, standby time, um, you just need to remember that that's all under general and the usage part.